Today, we're going to make sopa de res, a Salvadoran beef soup. Come on, let's get started. Todo queda sabroso. Okay, so here we have our beef. I have three different cuts here. I have a beef shank. We also have some oxtails, and then we have stew meat just to give it body. And we'll get to this in a second, but first let's prep our vegetables. Okay, we're starting off with a basic mirepoix, and that consists of onion, celery, and carrots. And because this soup is a kind of like a rustic soup, I'm gonna cut rather large pieces Same thing with the onion. Some recipes just cut the onion in half, but I like going a little bit further, cutting it to eighth pieces, I guess you could call it. Then we have what is called chayote. And if you never had chayote, it's kind of like if you took an apple and a cucumber and smashed it together. If you can't find chayote in your supermarket, a nice substitute would be something like zucchini. And all we're going to do is first peel this. Then we're just going to cut this in half and then cut it in half. We also have a small head of cabbage. And I'm just going to take that stem off and then we're gonna take that cabbage, split it in half, kind of in quarters, keeping that core intact so that it won't fall apart. Okay, then we have some fresh corn on the cob. Then we're going to cut those into bite-sized pieces. So I'll cut them in half and then half again. Here we have our corn. I'm also going to take a bulb of garlic and I'm just going to split it in half and I'm just going to use the garlic whole. And then one of the most important ingredients is yuca. Now you can use fresh yuca, but I find that frozen yuca works great. Okay, now we're ready to start our soup. Okay, so to the beef shank, the oxtail and the stew meat. I'm going to add just basic salt and pepper. To a pan, I'm going to add some avocado oil, not too much, but enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Then I'm going to take my oxtail pieces, the beef shank, as well as that stew meat. Most recipes will say put everything in the pot, add the water, and then cook from there. But anytime I make soup, I like to brown the meat. That's just me. I love the caramelization that happens in the pan. And I think it just adds that extra layer of flavor. Flip them over. Okay, now I'm gonna add to the center of that pot some sofrito. And the reason I'm adding this is because in most recipes, the stock adds either culantro or cilantro. And this sofrito has both of those. So I think it's wonderful to just add that flavor in here if you don't wanna just put whole leaves of cilantro. I'm also going to add some tomato paste. Again, it's all about depth of flavor. I'm gonna add a few bay leaves, and then I forgot to add the pepper. And now that I got good browning on that meat, and that tomato paste is caramelizing, then we're going to add 12 cups of water. Okay, now we're going to 
Cook this for about an hour. You can go even an hour and a half before we start adding our vegetables. Okay, at this point as well, I'm going to add some more salt, about a teaspoon. The beef and the bones have lent to that stock. Now we're going to remove the oxtail, as well as that beef shank. And the stew meat, I'm just going to leave in there because it's already cut into bite-sized pieces. We'll pull the meat from the oxtail and the beef shank. At this point, I'm going to add my onions, carrots, celery, and garlic. I'm also going to be adding the yuca so that that can cook away. All right, we'll give this about 20 minutes, then we'll add the rest of our vegetables. If you see that the water is getting low, you can always add a little bit more water. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Now I'm going to add my corn. The chayote that we cut into wedges. Make sure that gets into that broth so it begins to cook. I'm also going to add back that meat from the beef shank and one of the oxtail. The other oxtail I'm leaving a hole just for presentation purposes. Then we're going to cook this for about 20 minutes. Now I'm going to add my cabbage. Make sure it gets submerged so that that begins to cook. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is add a little lime juice. Hit it with a little bit of cilantro. That freshness. And this sopa de res is done. Okay, now we're going to serve this up. All right, some of that cabbage, the corn, yuca, of course. Chayote, carrots and onions, that beef. Then we're gonna take that beautiful caldo, that broth, a little squeeze of lime, a little bit more cilantro. And here we have it, sopa de res, Salvadoran beef soup, sabroso. If you like this video, Click the recipe tab in the video description, which will take you to our recipe page on Provecho, where you'll get a printer ready format of the recipe that links directly to Instacart, so you can shop for all the ingredients instantly. You can also follow along with the video as you make something sabroso. Todo queda sabroso.